what's going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so i never thought i'd get to do this again well i knew i would get to talk about it at some point but not in a full-length video dedicated to the franchise but we'll be talking about jeepers creepers 4 once again we'll be talking about jonathan breck who has openly slammed the film and it's on a video recording for you guys to enjoy as well not that he's being overly negative that's not what he's doing he's just being quite honest in sharing his negative thoughts on the whole film or the whole approach to the film if, if you will while also talking about if he would return to the role of the creeper and then I also want to shift into talking about this rumor surrounding Victor Salva and giving my thoughts on that and where I think that stems from because it comes from IMDb and we know IMDb can be edited by anyone but Jonathan Breck again has openly slammed Jeepers Creepers 4 and I just wanted to share my thoughts on that before discussing these rumors surrounding the creator sabotaging for shout out to jeepers creepers brazil for sending this my way this interview with jonathan breck happened at horror fest last month or in september actually and horror news network was the ones who were responsible for interviewing breck at the event i'll leave a link to the video in the description and i'll leave a link to the article in the description as well but when asked about jeepers creepers 4 breck said he had not gotten an official call about reborn so we we heard about this but again you now have him on video talking about all of this he said that he didn't get a call about reborn and instead found out from a fr from a friend who congratulated him on being in the new movie he was sure to let his friend know that that wasn't true breck talked about being upset because the makers of that one didn't even call for consulting on the creeper character at all so when i was watching the video this man made it clear he wanted to help them make a good movie that just makes that even more aggravating these people they were not trying to make a good movie and i think all of us are aware of that and it became very apparent when we sat down and endured an hour and some change of absolute criminal activity i would just sum it up to they all should still be charged in book they all should still be going one-on-one -on -one with the undertaker for the person who likes to chime that down in the comment section when i talk about this franchise i'm still going to keep that same energy knowing what i know now coming from jonathan breck who has stated he wanted to help them make a good movie you you just can't these people bro it's just something else breck actually said that he realized that these people just wanted to make money off of the ip now i don't know of course if there's something that he found out on the back end of it all because of course he might be more tapped in than me or anyone else but <laughs> he basically made it known that he realized they were just trying to make money off of the ip so he said also that the fans do deserve a good movie and when a film like Reborn is made, cutting so many corners, there are no redeeming qualities. He also did say, like we've heard him say before, that he would again play Jeepers Creepers or play the Creeper again for almost nothing if the opportunity came. But he doesn't see it happening due to politics. But he remained open minded. And I mean, honestly, you kind of have to if you can cut corners and do trash like Reborn, you can get a proper sequel to those first two movies. I think we all have to accept this, though, guys. As much as a lot of you still want to see a proper Jeepers Creepers sequel, you have to accept that Jonathan Breck, who admitted this in his video, he's getting up in age. I think he just admitted he's about to turn 59 soon. So soon he's about to be 60. That doesn't mean that he still obviously cannot don the makeup. He can do whatever he thinks he's up to if he's in good shape to do. And I'm not saying I wouldn't be against Breck being back. But what I think we all have to take a step back and realize, it's not even a matter of Breck coming back to the role. As much as it is, who is going to give us a proper film? Who's going to give us a film that is rooted in you attempting to actually put forth your best effort and put out a quality film? You don't necessarily need to have Jonathan Brick. You don't need to have Gina Phillips. You don't need to have any of the other stars. It is just something we would prefer if we were to finally get the inevitable. Well, I won't say the inevitable, but if we were finally to get what many people have been clamoring for again since 2003 and what's been hyped all throughout the mid 2000s and what unfortunately got canned in placement of what we got in 2017 and what we still have not gotten with the travesty that came out more recently, a sequel to Jeepers Creepers 2. You don't need Jonathan Brick. You don't need Jenna Phillips. What you need is competence. You need competence. You need somebody who is passionate about horror, unlike the last director we just had. You need someone who is not having a laundry list of lawsuits involved trying to produce your movie like we have currently with these band of idiots and all of their allegations that surround them about 
crew members losing their homes and all of this other wacky nonsense that should not be going on. But I digress. I know a lot of you would prefer to see Jonathan Breck back. I think we all should just accept that that's not even what the root of the problem is. That's like number 50 on the things we need. We need to get the producers that have this damn IP hostage away from it. That's what we need first and foremost. But before I shift back into my rant, there's this IMDb trivia listing on the Reborn uh, what page that says the controversy about Jeepers Creepers Reborn grew even more when several journalists ac accused Salva of wanting to sabotage the production and premiere of Jeepers Creepers Reborn despite receiving monetary benefits. Many speculated he may have used his friendship with several producers to put obstacles on Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Now see, I'm not trying to toot my own horn here, but again, like I mentioned, anybody can edit this. I think that perhaps some of my videos that were put out in the past were viewed and what i was communicating was going on with jeepers creepers 3 was misunderstood and placed onto what happened with jeepers creepers 4 i'm not saying that there's not some truth to this i would have to do some digging into this to find out if there was some sabotaging going on but keep in mind last time there was sabotaging going on with the franchise that has been made public it was related to producers actively working to sabotage the premiere of jeepers creepers 3 i don't know if there's any truth to victor salva actively trying to sabotage jeepers creepers 4 but i'll do my best to dig and report that to you guys if i'm able to but again we now have jonathan brick on video admitting that he actually the thing that still is aggravating me he wanted to help these people make a good movie he wanted to be a consultant of some capacity these people were not trying to make a good movie they were trying to make a quick buck they're they're still trying to possibly make a quick buck if they move forward with this fifth film and it just seems like we're stuck in a stuck in a a web of nonsense ultimately what would have to happen is you again need competence back in the creative room ultimately if we get a proper jeepers creepers film that could be 30 years from now i mean it's a god honest reality we have to accept and it could be very good but if we get it right now hopefully it can be good but if their same producers are involved I, I i just have i have no hope there's no reason to have any hope that it will be good they've shown us now ultimately with this one that they don't know what the fuck they're doing <laughs> let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification there's a video in the description i'll have links to my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video